Sometimes it feels good to be away from home, lost on the road and looking for the destination. Is it the destination that we are looking for or the journey that opens our heart and fills it with love and memories? This summer, we are on one of such journey exploring many places in Germany starting with Rosenheim. As the saying goes, no road is long with a good company and our good company lives in Rosenheim, a beautiful place located at the southwest of Germany. How are you doing? As you can see in my background, we are on vacation, we are traveling places and uh, right now I am in a small village of Austria which is called Pinswang. Uh, yeah, I, I am not sure if this is how it, it should be pronounced or not but uh, right now I am here and our plan is to visit a new sunshine castle tomorrow morning. I will go to this new Swanshine castle which is also called as fairy tale castle. Uh, I think Disney was been inspired by this castle and there is amazing history behind this castle and uh, I think you can see those mountains, you can see those Alp mountains. So the castle is built on one of these uh, hills, one of these rugged hills of Alp mountains which was really really tough task. To make it and it was quite expensive to build that castle still the king uh, I guess the king Ludwig too he had built that castle and it is going to be amazing I am super excited and I want to take you along with me But I also want to give you a tour of this village. There are three ways to reach this new Swanshine castle. One is you can drive, of course, that's what we are going to do. Uh, we are going to drive to this castle, which is I'm supposing is going to be wonderful uh, looking at these mountains. Second option is you can book this uh, day trips. So from Munich, I think there is this, uh, you get this package called Munich day trip and this new Swanshine uh, castle is also included in that package. And you might also get a few more tourist destination included in that package. But you can book that from Munich and they will drive you here with along with uh, other tourists. And the third option is Y train. So these are the three fantastic options wherein you can reach to this uh, new Swanshine castle. It's a new day and fresh morning. We are ready for the day to hit the road. Driving for 30 minutes, we have reached at Hohing Shanghao village where the castle is located. Yeah, the bus will end here in the end, yeah, so then you still have to walk a bit. Um, but this is, I think she said, uh, down the mountain. Yeah, so there's slope. Yeah, yeah. Slope. yeah, yeah. yeah. Slope. And, uh, the other way is not and walking, it's like then you can reach uh, directly out by the route. Um, it's 30 minutes walk or we take this car, uh, this horse ride. Yeah. Um, yeah, which will also come from this side of the castle and it's closer than, uh, than the bus. Yeah. But it's all good. On 
the way to castle you have few shops in case you want to buy some souvenirs from this place visit to castle from outside is free you do not need to buy any tickets but to visit castle from inside you need to buy tickets a visit to castle from inside is only possible through guided tour for which you have to book ticket we booked our ticket online you can also buy tickets after reaching here at ticket counter but generally the ticket counter is quite crowded and you might not get your ticket so i would recommend please buy ticket beforehand one unfortunate thing about this visit is you are not allowed to take pictures or videos inside the castle new swainshain a 19th century historical palace commissioned by king ludwig ii of bavaria The castle is also called as Castle of Paradox. It was built in the time when castle or palaces were no longer considered as powerhouse. The castle was built with all the newest technologies, lavish structure. It has indoor gardens, artificial cave equipped with hot running water including flush toilets and central heating system. King even made sure to have telephone lines at the castle. At that point of time, having a telephone line was very rare. However, King's obsession to build this fantasy castle made him almost bankrupt due to huge construction cost of the castle. And in 1886, King Ludwig II died under mysterious circumstances. After the death of King, the castle was opened for public and have become a important tourist destination and also a important source of income to the government. It is so ironic the palace which made the king bankrupt has now become the important source of government treasure around the year 1.3 million people visit the castle every year in summer times it is all the more crowded more than 6000 people visit the castle every day in summer the castle also has been inspiration for disneyland's sleeping beauty castle uh, now we are done with our uh, new sunshine visit uh, castle visit we are back to our hotel uh, talking about the experience i would say I would recommend everybody if you are planning for vacation so I think a uh, new sunshine castle is one of the destination it is a romantic place it is uh, such a humongous and such a beautiful castle uh, but from outside it is mostly of white limestone I was expecting it more colorful because I saw this picture of this disney castle I saw picture of this new sunshine castle here and there on the google uh, it was more colorful but in real it is mostly white limestones but from inside the castle is so beautifully decorated each and every corner of the castle is like either painted or decorated with some stones or or with some marble fabulous job done by the king the architect and everybody who was involved in making of that castle one interesting uh, there was this opera house which was built inside the castle and it is built with it has the ceiling has two layers of wood in first layer was with this piled wood which resonates the voice so that if the opera singer if they sings so the voice will resonate more the night went just the perfect with digging some old memories few deep and very deep and silly conversations I don't want to. That after too short, I have to stay. Hmm. And now we have reached to this uh, Absey Lake, which is at the base of this Zugs uh, Zugs Pikes Mountain. This mountain is the highest mountain of Germany. and there are a lot of many activities to do here if you are planning to come uh, the first is you can climb the mountain with the cable cars so that i am not sure you are able to see but there is a rope way here 
and th those cable car will take you at the top of this Duke Phipps mountain and it will take you back so that's an amazing thing to do I guess uh, another activity is you can do water activities at the lake we I think we hired a pedaling boat for four and uh, there were other options also but I wanted to be close to water so we did that instead of doing this so that activity was super fun you can also deep dive you can swim or you can just uh, take sun bath next to the lake it is also super fun and now our plan is to eat something around here not so many but there are a few restaurants here uh, and I have seen a very exotic seafood uh, so that's the plan we will eat and then go back home yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, dann. Äh Auch für andere Fisch wäre das hier gewesen. Und glauben Sie es mir, es schmeckt besser wie der Fisch von oben. Oha. Okay. okay. And finally, we are moving back back to pavilion uh, journey will start now to home and if you think that if i haven't covered anything in this video please write me back in comment section i would love to explore more and finally guys if you like this video please like share and subscribe and thank you for watching till here see you next time bye